So we're now just outside of the municipal house. So you can see there's modern art sculpture just down to the right. And you can also have the uh, restaurant and the, well actually it's the other side of the Paris Hotel. But have a look at this, what's coming up. And this is municipal house of Prague, one of the most spectacular illuminated buildings of the city. And just next to it, behind the Litfass column, you have the powder tower. So this is an uh, entrance to the Royal Way, which would take you all the way through the Old Town Square and then eventually to the uh, Castle District, so right up to the St. Wenceslaus uh, Church. So we've now walked around and we're going to pick up our uh, relief coach, so to speak, to take us around the city. We're up by the Jindriska Tower of Prague, so we're going to go for a drive around now and have a we look towards Wenceslaus Square. So we're now in Wenceslaus Square and at the very top of the square you have the newly renovated, restored uh, National Theatre. Four years it took them to restore this building. Here's our local specialist Jan and our driver for the night Stanislav. So this is Wenceslaus Square where we are at the moment and uh, we're going to see the statue, David Cherney's statue of Wenceslaus and the upside down horse. So we'll zoom around here, just a quick uh, scan and then again you can see, get an idea of the size of Wenceslaus Square, about a mile. So you might wonder what everybody's looking at, what Jan's talking about. It's actually this interesting sculpture here, look, it's a horse. Matter of fact, a man on a horse, but the horse is upside down. So this is St. Wenceslaus, patron saint of Czech Republic. The interesting thing about where we are is this is a very beautiful uh, passage. We're actually in the Luzerna Palace, uh, which is where we find our Wenceslaus on his upside down horse. But if you have a look through here, there's beautiful cafes and there's also very lovely little shops here, these fantastic uh, stone floors and beautiful architecture. So worth a visit if you get the chance, Luzerna Palace. And here's an interesting perspective. I haven't actually noticed the statue from this angle before, but the poor old horse, look, his tongue's hanging out. Poor horse. In maybe you've heard that before. This Czech student whose name was Jan Palach. Yeah, Jan Palach was a coach, Czech student. Charles. He studied uh, at the faculty of the 16th century architecture. Again. And uh, back in medieval times, each part of Prague had different rights. They look memorial desk above that vent on your right just now. You see that vent with the bullet holes? That's the one that is associated with that assassination of Heydrich back in 1942. Now, many films were filmed about this. The most recent one is called Anthro Concrete. They do represent the dress of a dancing lady. It's like a man and lady dancing. Fred and Ginger, that's what they call it. Visions, concerts, whatever it is. So this is, again, another multifunctional building here in the city. And have a look at this for a spectacular view. Prague Castle, Charles Bridge, and to the left, uh, St. Nicholas Church. So this is really the postcard perfect quintessential view of Prague so we're going to cross over Charles Bridge in just a moment make our way towards a pub go and have a drink and listen to some traditional Czech music so this is one of the entrances to the Charles Bridge one of the watchtowers and you can see again the Prague Castle off in the distance so spectacular perspective here and King Charles there, statue. So just having a look around. And now we'll uh, start to head away. So it's been a spectacular night so far in Prague and we look forward to seeing more tomorrow.